Hi friends, myself Nitin Pandit and in this video we are just going to see a new cool feature of C-Sharp 7.0 which is tuple. So tuple is a type and now we have to see what is tuple, how to use it and what will be the benefit of using tuple. So let's see, starts from what is tuple. So tuple is a value type variable which is used to return more than one value from a function. Suppose you have to write a business logic from where you have to return more than one value or you can say that you have to get more than one variables which is changed into a function body during the execution of your business logic. So Till C sharp 6.0 you have two options to do that like if you need to return more than one value from a function you can use a collection type like array list array list dictionary and many more any collections you can use there like I have Visual Studio 2015 and also I have Visual Studio 2017 so let me start from Visual Studio 2015 let me create a new project so that I can show you better how we can do that process and how it could be more better using C Sharp 7.0 feature which is tuple so just create a new project any project where you can write some business logic using let me create a console application for just for testing after creating this project you have to just create a test function from where you can return more than one value it could be different different types so we can use object type of collection let's see I have a business logic uh, let me add some more to use that like I'm going to create a test class where I'm going to create a public function from where I need to return more than one value that's why I can use list or any other i enumerable variable it belongs the parent collection type so I'll just create a function so now I can return anything that belongs from I interviewable where I'm just passing more than one arguments let's first argument is string second could be bool decimal or double sorry or you can say like any other type of character it could be whatever you want so this is the first type you can use to return more than one value second option you have if you want to return more than one value so you can use ref or out keyword to get variable changes or you can say all those variable values those going to be changed during the process of execution of your business logic like test function again where I'm passing two arguments it could be ref string name or out int salary so now if we assigning some value to my name argument suppose nothing 
and finally we also can assign to salary it could be one two three four five anything else so now we can use them but suppose if you want to return multiple values like somehow look like that let me create some test example public I need to return string along with bool or you can say int as well any name you can give it I'll just suppose test function cause of function overloading can't be possible here because the argument was same and I will return nothing true or one two three four five but this is not going to be possible in visual 2015 I'm um, just build my program you can see here it's build started already and you have 17 number of errors in your program okay now let's move to visual studio 17 and write the same program over there like I'll just go to the studio 17 and create a new project file new project again same you can use any template to just test your C sharp 7.0 architecture sorry for delay my machine is taking more time because already have five visual studio versions so it's just taking little time sorry for that now let's see let me write the same business logic that we was trying to write into visual studio 2015 i'll just create another test class along with the test function like uh, public or you can copy that code and paste it into visual 2017 but still your visual studio giving you some kind of errors you can easily remove them because c 7.0 allows you to do that so how you can use how you can use that behavior you just need to go nuget package manager after right clicking on your project name just find nuget package manage manage nuget packages and click to browse to find some new packages online and just enter their name which is system dot value tuple just find that and you have to install it I accept your installation is finished now let's move to your program again now you can see here your program is same as but without any error you can test it after debugging I'll just build my program and you can see here build already started in a few seconds or minutes it will show you the output your program it's built succeeded 
without any failure or errors that means my program is allowing me to returning more than one values here so if i need to use that and i have to be get these parameters value so we can directly create a normal instance of this class and we can call this function so let's see how we can do that let's see in my main method i'll just create an instance of my test class it could be any object i'll just instantiate it and when i'll try to get that function you can see in the intelligence that function name is test function 1 which is returning at the same time three arguments like string bool int so if you need to hold them you must be having some kind of another variable that support the same design so you can say that i'm just going to get that value into a where data type so after that when i'll use my data variable and will use dot to get their behaviors so in that visual studio 2017 intelligence you can see that is giving me three fields first is a string that name is item 1 item 2 is bool and item 3 is int so you can understand with that tuples give automatically a naming convention to all other variables returning by a uh, function by their order like that any other variable which is placed on the first position that name will be item 1 that doesn't mean what the data type is the first variable was string and the name is item 1 if you need to get the value you just need to call item 1 let's see i'm just going to print that console dot right line okay i just want to do that with all these three and after that console dot read any other statement that can hold your console screen for the time being let's see the output on your console screen now you can see all these three value that was written by your function over your desktop application where you was used them so at your console screen now you can see all these three nathan 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 sorry because i'll just make it copy and paste but didn't change variable names now let's see all parameters value nathan true and one two three four five that means i am able to get all these three values at the same time so if you have to use them you can use by their default identity which is item 1 item 2 and item 3 but the second option is tuples allow you to give them a custom name so that you can call them when you or you can remember them more easy on you can call them very easiest way that suppose you want string should be name bool should be is or any other name that you want to give it suppose is uh, like uh, status or salary anything whatever you want to give now if you go there and just call data dot now you are able to see their custom name that you was give them to call their behaviors or their value name status and salary itself now build it again and debug it you will also see the same output as the previous output so that means you can use any custom name to their variables best part is suppose somehow i forget 
the name suppose i'll make that function into some separate classes into my solution and now i forget the name so still i can use the default name that was item suppose let me item 2 but that will that will not going to be visible into intelligence of visual studio you have to write it manually but when you debug it you will see the same output as previous that means there is no any item 2 but it's giving me the same result as previous that means this item 2 it belongs to status you can see that this is already highlighted into a visual studio that means you can call these parameters by their custom names or their default identity as item 1 item 2 item 3 as more if you have more than 2 3 or 4 parameters or arguments into your written type so this was the second option how you can use them now suppose if you want to like uh, if you want to use them individually not you can uh, or you don't want to use them like a objects property so you can like uh, create a variable var and you can use same variable name like name status a salary now there's no any more need to use them as a objects property but you can see here salary is available but there's no item to any more because there is no any kind of reference variable that was uh, getting the entire reference of these so you have to call it by that custom name which is which that was name i guess i believe uh yes that was name or you can say it status okay so uh maybe i write some wrong spelling so there okay so let's see the output again so see the output is still same so you can use it where you want to write like less code and uh, you don't want to you create their reference variable every time to create their collections to get more than one values at the same time so that will be the plus point for you or any other c sharp uh, developer who can write usually those functions those have to be written more than one value and they developers are you still using collections to return their multiple values or or else they are using auto ref keywords so you can use now c sharp 7.0 and you can return a value as a tuple that can have more than one properties or you can get them where you want you can use them individually or you can use them as you want so that was all about tuples you can use it you can enjoy it anymore and uh, you can make your program very very easiest and write less code and do more so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you will enjoy this video if you enjoy just like that video and write your comment into uh, comment box so thank you so much to all of you guys myself my nitin pandit again and we will see, uh, will meet again as soon as possible with some latest c sharp 7.0 examples and uh, it could be more debugging examples in visual studio 2017 So good luck guys thank you so much